Blasphemous, guys. It is your boy Blasphemous HD. And today, we probably f***ing up once again. Now, today we're about to check out uh, a creepypasta about Chuck E. Cheese. Everyone has been there before. How huh? the ball pit full of poop and poop and piss. <laughs> when I was a kid, I thought the ball pit was the greatest invention since sliced bread out this since pants with pockets, since internet porn. But yeah, man, uh, when I was a kid, I used to, uh, I used to love Chuck E. Cheese, I used to love the ball pit, all that extracurricular sh And, and, you know, now, well, to tell you the truth, Five Nights at Freddy's has ruined any, any chance of ever going to Chuck E. Cheese for myself ever again. That and the fact that I'm too old to get in the ball pit now, man. I'll, I'll risk, I'll risk the piss and poop, man. I just, I just love, okay, I was, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that. Bouncer would have a field day if I was if I was to say yeah I just love you know pits full of balls man hitting my face and shit it's just I'm not gonna do it to myself but uh but yo so this creepy pasta is by Mr. Creepy Pasta it's narrated by him if you guys want to watch some of his other creepy pasta videos which I suggest going and doing so because he's you know he's one of my favorite creepy pasta tellers on YouTube the link for them shits will be in the description down below. Let go. Hopefully this isn't anywhere near as scary as it probably is. Honestly, to tell you the truth, another thing I hope is that he does not use special effects. Please. Please don't use special effects. <laughs> well, we're probably f***ed. Since that sound effects right in the beginning, it's probably gonna be terrifying for us. At the end of this video, I'll tell you guys a story of, uh, of, of one of the most situations I've ever run into while at Chuck E. Cheese is so bad that I, I remember this shit and I have a terrible memory. I was like nine. It was fucking gross. Have you ever thought there was something the creators of Chuck E. Cheese were hiding from us all? Or have you ever found something to be off about the place? Even the creepy robotic mascots that danced on stage. I didn't until I found out the truth about Chuck E. Cheese. Bro, this is surprisingly well done. With the images and, and the repeating images and whatnot and the perfect selection of music. Oh, this, this is going to be f Good thing I'm watching this in the daytime. It all began on the first time I had ever visited the place. I was around the age of five or six, so I, of course, was pretty ecstatic to go. Seeing all those commercials of kids eating pizza and running around without a care in the world. And the arcade games. And all the play structure. Made me almost get down on my hands and knees to plead and beg my mom to take me. <laughs> After finally getting her to break, she took me. I was the happiest kid in the world. My mom drove me over just a few hours before evening, so maybe around 4.30 or so. I almost knocked over the woman at the door who gave you the little stamp on her hand and running ahead of my mom and bursting through those doors like a maniac child. Eventually... I was stamped and literally screeching as I ran around to all the games and play sets. After a bit, I stumbled on over to a game with whack-a-mole with sharks. Right by that staff only. One shark whacking minute later, I'd won the game, and before I could squeal in success and collect my tickets, my ears caught the sound of something very strange going on near the staff only room. I could hear someone say, test number 15 on mutated rat results in anchored behavior, such as throwing desk and scientist at the wall. I then began to wonder what in the world they could be talking about. Maybe they were making a new game. Being so young, I had no idea at all what was actually going on in there. So being curious and feeling a bit interested, I pressed myself against the door and listened in as carefully as a six-year-old could. I could hear them snapping at each other. Things like, What are we going to do with the beast? Get it away from me! A mumbled shout poured over whoever was in there and replied with a louder, We can't just kill that thing! The talking stopped. You mean to tell me the Chuck E. Cheese rat is the result of rabbit experimentations and, and, and a, a mutant, mutant rat world? I thought it was just 
I thought it was just a Mexican employee dressed in a in a in a mouse costume entertaining kids. Why has it gotta be Mexican? Usually black dude actually, I I do that shit if they pay me enough money. I mean you wouldn't want to hire me as a Chuck E. Cheese rat though, man. I plan all types of up nigger games with the kids and shit. <laughs> Pressed myself closer on the door. I realized that this was a very bad mistake as the door opened from my weight against it. I slipped in, going from leaning on the door to falling face flat on the ground of the staff room. Immediately, footsteps trampled over to me, hands grabbed at my arms. I was up like a light in a few seconds. And still, I don't know what the hell they did to do that. I woke up slowly, my eyes feeling heavy and my body feeling weak in some kind of interrogation. A tall man with a serious expression wearing the cleanest white lab coat I'd ever seen began walking towards me out of the blue. Like he knew I'd be awake, like he knew I was awake. His voice was deep, and it was scratchy from what I could tell. He began to speak. You know. You know, don't you? You know, I said. I was a six-year-old half knocked out at a Chuck E. Cheese, so I didn't know what they expected from me. I babbled for a second, letting my tongue function correctly. What? I replied dumbly, blinking lazily. He grabbed my arm, making the static feeling intensify somehow. He pulled me a bit, making me whine, though I quickly shut my toddler trap when a loud banging on the door echoed throughout the room. Naturally, me being so young and clueless, I screamed, thrashing around. The man let go of me and snapped at me to shut my mouth. Forgetting about almost everything, I thrashed around some more. Slipping out of my chair, I kicked my legs going into the corner of the room. I screamed again, banging my foot against something, making a loud metal clang against my foot. I twisted around and whined down at an air vent. I kicked it again out of scared, hot anger. With another loud scream and clang, the metal front door popped off. Again, letting out a shriek when I heard the man stomping towards me out of the noise of clawing metal and banging. I scooted inside, spitting at him. I was scared half to death. I mean, what was I doing here? Where was my mom? He swiped at me for a second, but quickly pulled his hand back. There was another loud bang, and the man stepped back. Using my tiny little hands, I grabbed the air vent's door and pulled it back, pressing it on. Just in time, a piercing hiss was followed by a shout from the stranger, and the loudest bang on the door. I clawed back, scooting back into the vent. I had to leave. Even being so young, I knew that I was in trouble. I hastily turned around with a bit of struggle, slowly crawling down the vent. A loud, badly scream echoed through the vent, being followed by more. They were in unison with the sound of cracking. Terror. Which I now know was fleshy bones of the stranger. I got out as fast as I could. A small light was around the corner after a few minutes, and I stomped on it. The vent easily popped open. They really weren't paying attention to how tightly they were screwed on, were they? My feet stumbled as I climbed out, but were soon trampling to where I saw my mom last. She was still there with a worried expression on her face. I ran up to her, hugged her tight, my eyes now glazed with wet, hot tears. I wanted to go home. I just wanted to go home. I want to go home, I whined and complained. Hope you weren't whining out loud. <laughs> Snitching on yourself. My mom gave me a strange look and put a finger on my cheek. You must be tired, sweetheart. She could. Picking me up. I clenched my small fist holding tightly onto her shirt. We walked out of the building. We being oh so lovingly carried to the car. A distant whir of sirens became louder and louder. The police cars pulled into the large parking lot and skidded to a halt in front of the once amazing and fun Chuck E. Cheese. My mother almost ran into the car and quickly buckled me into the car seat. A couple hours later, home and safe, that night, I walked out of my room to get some water before I went to bed. A habit of trying to procrastinate so I didn't have to sleep. And my mother was watching the news.
the reporter talking about some some kind of mutated rat coming out of Chuck E. Cheese and disappearing down the alleyway. So what happened to the real Chuck E. Cheese? God only knows. But I will never, and I repeat, never go into any damn Chuck E. Cheese for as long as I live. Shit, I bet. Okay. Alright, so I'm about to tell y'all the story of what happened when I was I was went younger. I was at Chuck E. Cheese, bro. Okay, so I was about nine years old, yo. Okay, so I, it was one of my cousin's birthday parties, right? It was like a birthday of his. And I'm at and we at the Chuck E. Cheese, man, our families and all come together. It was like fucking 20 kids, probably more than that. Tons of us, right? So as with any Chuck E. Cheese, you know, we they had this huge ass jungle gym of the goddamn pipes, the colorful pipes that you was going through and shit. Bruh, tell me why I'm going through the pipes. I'm what I'm going through the pipes, man. And I had come through these pipes like 15 times on this day, gone down, slide at the end, got up, climbed right back in the gone. Last time I was up in this, bruh, and it was a whole line of kids, like, and, you know, going through the, the pipes. It's just one behind a bunch of kids, and we're all going through. And when we get to the middle, I can't see all the way down to the end because the kids are, like, I'm walking by, I'm, I'm crawling behind the kids. When we get to the middle, they was, bruh, my cousin was, like, 12 or 13 at the time. Tell me why this nigga's in there in the pipe. It's fucking. I'm just. Uh, uh, and I'm like. Like, what the. What the. What the. What the. What the fuck is. What the. Bruh, tell me why the, the chick was like 14 or some shit. And. So, yeah, I'm not gonna go into it as gross detail. Uh, with a pair, okay, so he had, had his pants down and she had her pants off. So yeah, man, that, that happened. Uh, gross, man. They found poop in the goddamn ball pit. That's why, if you guys notice, not a lot of places have ball pits anymore. Because there's always been piss at the bottom. But yeah, man, that, that is, uh, that's a story that I... Shouldn't have told anyone. It was in Cleveland, Ohio, so I haven't had contact with this cousin for years. Oh, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. The link for the original video is in the description down below. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Run for your lives. You know, and uh, watch your kids. You know, I'm starting to think that having one of the backpacks with the leashes on them isn't that bad of an idea after all. Twisms.